I'm like terrible at making talking videos, um, but I thought today I would try to be convincing as to watch the anime Shiki. Um, I thought it would be a really funny concept, um, because it's one of my favorites and it's kind of like underrated. Um, well, it's not underrated. It's more like underappreciated, I would say. And there's a lot of, in it to like besides like the fact that like it's basically Tokyo Ghoul but way better. So basically it's like there are vampires. Um, you know this like this isn't a spoiler or anything because you basically find this out in the first episode. Um, from what I've heard though in the original novel um, basically it's the opposite. Like you have no idea what's going on which I find a very interesting concept. Um, so, yeah, basically, there are these vampires, and they are killing people, and so, like, all of the- there's all these mysterious deaths going on in this already really small town, and, like, yeah, so, basically, <laughs> the main characters you have in the first half, um, we've got Natsuno Yuki, he's just, like, a kid that just got there, like, you know, like, your Keichi Maibara of Higurashi, you know, that kind of dude, um, yeah, he's, like, the new dude, um, and basically he's just, like, um, he's just, like, really chill, and I'm pretty sure in the English dub he's voiced by the same dude as Psyche, um, from Psyche K. They're pretty similar characters, though, and they're both very likable, um, <laughs> yeah, I love not to know, um, and then we have the doctor dude, um, to Toshio, um, Ozaki, I believe, um, I'm really bad with names, I'm sorry, but I believe that's his name, um, and, yeah, he's, like, the doctor trying to figure out, like, how this is happening. Like, how these people are dying this way because it doesn't make any sense to him. And, like, he's just trying to figure out what is causing all of this. And, you know, that might sound, like, a bit boring. Um, which, I mean, it's debatable. Like, honestly, I think the first half of Shiki is, like, really interesting and really fun to watch. Um, like, but also I'm just, like a nerd and I think it's like I don't know I just I don't really care for like the whole thing of like I think filler is like overused just because I'm more of a character person like I like seeing characters interact with each other and seeing what they're doing and like getting attached to them and I feel like it's like if it got right to the point right away you wouldn't have that right connection with the character Yes, I would say that the pacing in Shiki isn't the best in some aspects, but I still think it's better to have a slower start than rush everything. Um, yeah, especially with, like, Higurashi. Like, people call that show slow, and it's literally just one episode. Like, if the show just started murdering people, like, you guys would just call it shit. <laughs> it's, it's really interesting, um... There's a lot of characters, um, I guess it's like, it really depends on your view of morally gray characters because I don't, like, I don't really think it's a spoiler, like, saying that the characters in this show are very morally gray, um, and it's like, if you don't like that kind of thing and you kind of just more like, you know, want someone that you can 100% root for without feeling like, like, you know, like, oh, they're a bad person, which I don't really relate to, <laughs> um, yeah, you're probably not gonna really get into Shiki, um, yeah, it's, it's really, um, it does dig a bit deep, it's, it's a psychological horror at its core, I think besides that, it's not, like, a scary thing, like, you're not gonna, like, shit your pants because something scary happens on the screen, you have to get scared pretty easily, um, yeah, because it's anime, and if you like stuff like Higurashi, I feel like you would really like Shiki, it is not the same type of thing, like, I mean, it's small town and, and shit's happening, people are dying and mysterious shit's happening, but, like, it's not, like, the same type of thing. I'm so bad at explaining things, holy shit. But, okay, so, we have a few other characters, like, we got- we got Tatsumi, he's pretty, uh, <laughs> he basically looks like a furry, um, but he's, like, really, um, he, um, he's kind of, um, you know- all right, we got Megami, and she's, like, like, she's kind of just, like, um, obsessed with, uh, Natsuno, and, like, Natsuno could literally care, could not care less because he's, like, gay. I'm so serious, like, no spoilers, but, like, there is some huge implication 
that that man is not straight. And she also really wants to leave the town. Um, she doesn't like how everyone judges her for, you know, she thinks that she's very fashionable and cool. And she really wants to become, like, this famous person, I believe. Um, yeah. And then she has her friend Kauri, which I don't think she's straight either. <laughs> Basically, she's just, like, you know, her friend. And, like, she's really nice and cool. Um, and she's just, like... I don't know. She's just a really likable character. Like, from the top of my head, I can see a reason to hate Kaori besides maybe if you think she's boring or something. Um, then we got her brother Akira. Um, basically, he's like the big brain of like everyone. Like, he is the first one, I believe, to like find out about the vampires and then no one believed him. And it was really stupid. Like, he was a so big brain. Like, he's the smartest person in the whole entire show. Yeah, and he's also really silly and cool. And then we got, um, the green-haired nurse lady. I forgot her name. Um, and, like, and Toru totally has a thing for her. Oh, yeah, Toru. Toru is, um, is, like, Natsuno's friend. Like, the only person that, uh, Natsuno likes in, like, the whole village. Um, and, like, just a really cool dude. Like, he just, like, he's so chill. And he just likes video games and, like, movies and being silly. And he's really awesome and cool. Nurse Lady, which is the person that Toru has a crush on. Um, to the dismay of Natsuno. Um, <laughs> she's really cool and chill and, you know, nice. Just like every other character I explain because I'm really good at explaining things. We got, uh, Seishin, I believe his name is. And he's, like, um, he's a monk, I think. He's, like, um, a dude and he writes books. Um, and then there's this girl named Sunako, um, that, like, reads his books and, like, visits him at night. So she's kind of a little bit sus. Um, yeah. And they, like, interact and stuff. Um, and oh yeah, Masao. I think his name is Masao. I might be mispronouncing it. Masao, I believe. Uh, yeah. He's, like, um, the person that, like, everyone hates for, like, he's so unlikable that he's a genuinely a likable character and a goofy guy. Like, he is such an asshole. He's such a terrible character, and I love him so much. He is so terrible. Like, he, he's just, like, <laughs> he's so pathetic. Like, you just can't help but love him. And then if that, none of that convinced you, um, Shiki has an incredible soundtrack, um, from the actual music used in the show to the opening. Like, specifically the first opening is so fucking good. Like, I don't know. Like, it's so good. It's so good. It's, like, literally my favorite anime opening of all time. It's so, so good. It's so incredible. It's, like, life-changing. Um, I, I highly suggest watching it. It's really good. Um, it's, like, it's so good. Like, I could literally just say it's so good over and over again. That's, like, not gonna convince anyone. But, like, just give it a shot. Like, and if you're not into it by, like, episode four, I would say, like, then you drop it. Because I feel like episode four is when it starts to pick up the speed. Like, um, yeah. Like, if you're like me, you'll probably like it from episode one. But if you're a bit, like, Ugh, I'm not for the, like, slow-paced anime kind of style or slow-paced show in general, then it'll probably be around episode four that it'll start to, like, you'll start to feel it. Like, it's starting to pick up. Um, and then from there, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, I really love this show so much. Um, and I want an ex- I just- I was trying to think of an excuse to talk about it besides just, like, like, you know, reviewing it because, like, that's just for people that watched it, you know? Like, I want to suggest it to people because I'm literally insane, okay? Yeah, so thank you.